Okay, so we have an upload folder that we are going to upload in that. And now let's send a POST request to our server. We type localhost with port 8080 and slash tests. And let's say the body is form data and the key is file. And let's set it to file and select a photo and send the request. As you can see, it says uploaded, and the status code is 200, means that it's OK. And if we see the folder uploads, we see that it's uploaded successfully. So now let's create a new Flutter project. OK, we're going to name the project to file upload. Yeah, and let's click next and finish. Just wait for the Flutter to create our project. Okay, now let's clear all this stuff and implement our own code. So as a main function, we're going to return the run app. And as the argument of the run app, we're going to pass material app. And as the material app home, we're going to pass my app that we're going to implement right now. Okay, the, the class my app. Uh, extends from stateless widget extends from stateless widget and we're gonna override the build method and let's return the scaffold and first of all let's add an app bar to our app and let's first centerize it and as the text of it, let's say file upload. File upload. Yeah. And as the body, let's pass a center, and the child of that would be a column. And the main axis alignment of these columns would be main axis alignment.center because we want to centerize everything in our app. And as the children, we want to pass two buttons, let's say elevated buttons. And the ampersand of both of them, first of all, is null. The first one is, to, is for opening the file explorer, so the text is open file explorer. And let's add another elevated button. And the arm press is null again, and the child is this is this one is for uploading, so the text would be upload file. Okay, so for now let's just open our emulator and see what we get until now. Yeah, let's resize it a bit. Okay. And let's click on the one button and wait for the Flutter to install our APK. Yeah, good. As you can see, we got these two buttons, but we can't click on them because the on press is set to null. F okay, so we go to pop flutter. This is uh, provide these white packages. You can just Google it. The first package we need is file picker. We just search it and just go to the first one. Then go to the installing section and just copy this command line code and then just go back to the IDE and paste it in terminal and then go back for the next package okay the next package we need is HTTP package that handles our HTTP request so we go to HTTP and to installing 
and then just like the last one just copy this code okay let's just paste this one again and click enter now everything is done now we need to flutter pop get run this command to get all these uh, dependencies and then import the file picker dart and import the http dot dart as http to use them okay now we're gonna have a list of platform file we're gonna name it to a file and oh what's the Oh, okay. So because uh, this is a non 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 reference, we need to add a question mark after the list. Okay, so let's create our first function. It's Open File Explorer, and yeah, it's async. And for the implementation, we say that the files is equal to. Uh, let's use the file picker that platform that pick files and let's say uh, we need the files okay again because of null safety we need to add a mark before that okay so the type of the file is file type dot any we don't specify any specific file and the allow multiple is false we need to only pick one file at the same time and the allowed extensions we set it to null because we want all the extensions to see okay let's just print the uh, the path of the file so the loaded file path is the files files yeah, dot first dot path okay let's just print this so we're gonna say the arm press to open file explorer the first button and let's click run and see okay as you can see we're not being happens because we add the package and we can't say at the hot restart so we need to stop the app and run it again okay it's installing the apk and it's loading up so let's open the file explorer and allow it so let's now pick one of these images in the download uh, download file download directory sorry okay as you can see the loaded path is this thing okay let's open another and as you can see the fat path is the exact path and it's panda.jpg so now let's implement the upload method uh, okay so the return type is void and it's async the URI is uh, we use the constructor of the URI uh, we parse in a string okay so let's pass this URI URL to the URI.parse and let it parse it for us okay do, so the request is http.multipart request yeah and it's a post request and to the uri that we mentioned about so the request that files that add let's add the file that we picked that the user picked actually so we say http dot uh, file from path and the which path uh, okay so the first uh, parameter is the file this is the key that we saw in postman and for the data we see uh, the files dot first dot path so we're gonna pass the path to the request files okay as you can see we get uh, we get an error Oh, okay this is because not safety so we need to just call the to a string uh, it's nothing really important okay now let's say we have a response and the response is the request 
dot send so we await for the request dot send to be sent and then we check the response status code to check if it's failed or it's successful if it's 200 then we print uh, upload it and yeah upload it and elsewise if it wasn't 200 so there was an error uh, we can print that uh, somehow there was an error okay so we can say that uh, something went wrong and let's put the semicolon and let's change the second button on press from now to upload file and let's run it again so it's restarted okay now let's uh let's retire it a bit let's just open some file for example the flower and you can see that it's uh yeah open successfully and when we click on upload we get exceptions okay so it says no host specified in uri localhost 8080 test but this is because we can't access uh, to the this uri from the localhost we need to uh, specify the exact ip so we type ip config in the command line and the ipv4 address we need this one okay so we copy this with ctrl c and just uh, just what i want to just show you that it's working here uh, if i just uh, let's just delete this file and go back to postman and send the request as you can see it's uploaded again it's successfully uploaded and if you can see yeah the picture is here again so this is okay okay just i just copy this line from postman and let's just paste it here okay everything is fine let's hot restart it again and open the file open the flower picture and click on the upload file okay now now again we get exception because we cannot start with alphabetic characters like we can start with 192 okay we need to add the http or https before our ip address so let's run it again and let's uh open the file explorer the flower and upload okay as you can see we are uploaded successfully okay so now let's check yeah it's uploaded successfully to the uploads folder now let's upload the panda okay again we click the upload folder and the upload file okay it's uploaded and as you can see it's here successfully and as you can see we can see the panda in 